Hello, my name is Dr. Frank Wong. I'm a mathematician by training whose mission and passion are to make the concepts of mathematics understandable and interesting to students of all ages and abilities. This summer I'm teaching at the Alexander Dawson Foundation's Center for Excellence in Teaching and Learning Summer Institute. This is based in Las Vegas, and this year's theme is energy. I'm standing here at the Hoover Dam, site of one of the most impressive engineering achievements of our time. It took about three and a half million cubic yards of concrete to build. This dam is about 1,244 feet wide at its top, 650 feet uh, thick at its uh, base. The dam can produce about 2,000 watts of uh, power. And so let's do some calculations to see if that uh, does indeed make sense, using the fact that four large pipes called penstocks carry about uh, 100,000 gallons per second of water. So that's a total of 400,000 gallons of water per second that these penstocks bring to the turbines. Now 400,000 gallons of water converts to about one and a half million liters of water. Now using the fact that uh, one cubic meter of water is a thousand liters. This is about 1,500 cubic meters of water that is carried by the four penstocks. And uh, using the fact that the density of water is about a thousand kilograms per cubic meter, this is about one and a half million uh, kilograms of water per second. Let's compute the, uh, the potential energy of this uh, water. So we're going to have to multiply that by the acceleration due to gravity, which we'll take to be 10 meters per second squared. And we'll also multiply by the uh, vertical height that the water has to drop, which is about 180 meters. So we take the uh, one and a half million kilograms uh, per second, that's the, uh, the mass of the water that's uh, flowing, times the acceleration due to gravity, times the uh, vertical height of the drop, and we we'll get about uh, 2 billion 700 million uh, joules uh, per second. So remember that one watt is a joule per second, so that's about uh, 2 billion 700 million watts. Now, of course, not all of this potential energy is converted to electrical er energy, as these uh, electrical turbines only have an efficiency of about 75%. So we're going to take the 2 billion 700 million uh, watts and multiply by 75%, we'll get about uh, 2 billion uh, watts or 2,000 uh, megawatts of uh, power. Indeed, uh, this confirms the uh, published reports that the uh, dam produces about 2,000 uh, megawatts of energy. And so again, we see the uh, power of mathematics through these uh, simple back of the envelope calculations. We're able to confirm that the Hoover Dam produces about 2,000 megawatts of energy using uh, simply the fact that about uh, 400,000 uh, gallons of water are used to uh, spin the turbines that produce electricity. And so until next time, so long from Dr. Frank.